This season, the defending champions went into their clash with Leipzig, knowing that they'd already qualified. It was all about guaranteeing top spot, which they haven't done as they lost 3-2. Uh, Meanwhile, Celtic with a 1-1 draw against Shakhtar. Incredible miss in that game, by the way, uh, from Shakhtar, meaning they missed out on the victory in Scotland. Uh, focusing on Real Madrid, Stevie, overall, big deal. No Benzema, no Valverde. No, I mean, look at the, look at the table. They're still top of the table. Right. And, and actually, the way they started this game, you could tell they knew, regardless of whatever happened, they were going to be top of the table. You know, Leipzig came out quickly uh, and, and were 2 0 up, rightly so. So, no, I don't think they can have any complaints. They didn't exactly go into this game guns blazing to try and win it. They'd have been happy with a draw. They were unfortunate they didn't take some chances. They could have got a draw, but. Quite frankly, I think all they'll be doing is looking forward to the next game. Which is at home against Celtic, so of course they win that and they will finish top. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, elsewhere, Borussia Dortmund taking on at Manchester City. A draw would be enough to see City finish top of the group and Dortmund automatically qualify for the knockout stages. And it was a draw, Craig. Nil-nil. Yeah, it must have been a big brown envelope. <laughs> I don't think it, that's Craig's opinion, not uh, the VSKN FC. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm, on, I'm only joking. Uh, this game was pretty much similar to the Real Madrid game in terms of you... The teams, Man City knew and they were already qualified. It's just a matter of where they're going to finish in the group. It was that kind of performance. They didn't look... It didn't look like Man City to me, the, the way they played, it was sort of 50-60%. Dortmund actually did, did well defensively, to be fair. Erling Haaland, who came off, was apparently unwell. Uh, yes, but, he had a uh, fever. But City didn't really create much, particularly in the first half, and, and it was a bit disjointed. Guardiola wasn't particularly happy with it in the sidelines, and, and there was a lot of possession in the second half, but... But, yeah, I wasn't surprised. Uh, I think once you've got themselves in this position as a player, you kind of know it's hard to go that extra mile when you know you're already... Yeah. yeah you've got to win the group uh, to give yourself a, 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 a weaker team, perceived, perceived weaker team in the next... in the knockout, but it, it just wasn't a good game. And the stats are telling you, it was loads of possession, but, but Dortmund actually did OK. Anything to add, Frank? No, I just want to congratulate Manchester City and uh, give credit to their professionalisms because, uh, you know, you already qualify, but you... You go there, you play with, under big pressure because you know uh, the um, uh, West Fallen Stadium is, uh, is, is under big pressure when Dortmund is uh, the three points. And they, they did very, very good. And uh, I think uh, they got the possession. They scored, could have scored uh, some goals, a penalty. Uh, but, uh, but they did what they had to do, you know. And they are with uh, six changes, I think, uh, from, uh, from last week. Um, all the players were involved, were, did what they had to do. It wasn't a pleasant game to watch because you felt that... <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, <laughs> they didn't want to go for a win. Horrible. Yeah, yeah I, I wanted to be polite. I wanted, I wanted to be polite, but yeah. But uh, yeah. again, that was very professional and I didn't see Dortmund being able to, be, to get better than a draw against a team already qualified. You know, well, you see, Real Madrid lost uh, and some other team were already qualified. They, they, they struggle. Manchester City didn't struggle. They should have won. They should have won that game. Man, we are being already qualified. So, credit to them. There we go. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, just a reminder. Oh, that's not... us. Pardon? See you later. No, 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 no. Hey, Gab, people were complaining that you were saying Don's name wrong. And they were saying, being the pedant that you are, you would have definitely picked yourself up on it if you realised that someone else had made that mistake. What, Don? Yeah. Oh, what did he say? It's he was kind of hard him. to say Don incorrectly, no? I mean, uh, I know, I know. They're referring to Hutchison versus Hutchinson, like the Hutchinson yes. River Parkway. Uh, yeah. Look, um, I, I, uh, I don't think Don minds, but I apologize to Don and everybody else who, who was offended. And, uh, but I do know his name is Don Hutchison. There we go. Uh, okay. Lawrence Hutchinson. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.